<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, Jets? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, let me start this video off with a great quote. Those who do not learn from history are often doomed to repeat it. Now, what am I getting at? Well, during the first months of the pandemic, I made a lot of videos talking about it. And of course, those videos were heavily censored, if not outright taken down. However, the one thing that I kept repeating was the fact that one day we were going to be told that we have to learn to live with Charlie 19. Now, how does that tie in to the previous quote? Well, Chris Rock, during one of his stand-ups, he made a quick joke about it. Now, the section is called Doctors and Drugs, where he talked about HIV AIDS and how the pharmaceutical company was not going to cure AIDS. We haven't cured anything. Why? Because the money is in the medicine. Now, how does that tie in to what I'm about to talk about? Well, let's go ahead and jump to this article that was published on the 22nd of July. Charlie 19 is going to be with us forever. White House says. There you go, gentlemen. History has once again repeated itself. And guess what? When you look at all the pharmaceutical companies and how many billions that they made over the last two years, there you go. White House Pandemic Response Coordinator, Dr. Ashish Jha, delivered a grim message on Friday about the ever-evolving Charlie 19 pathogen that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates has infected more than 140 million Americans, including President Houseplant. Quote, unquote, this virus is going to be with us forever, Josh said during a press briefing otherwise devoted to an update on the president's health. Quote, unquote, it's really, really important that people build up their immunity against this virus, he added, emphasizing that dun, 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 dun vaccinations is the best means of doing so. Well, well, well. Looks like they got a crony for uh, Dr. Fauci to come out and try to spread more fear. You see, one of the greatest social and psychological experiments took place during those last couple of years. Yeah, oh yeah. It was a bracing reminder that any hopes of fully eradicating the Charlie 19 are long gone. Remember what Chris Rock said during his doctor's and drugs stand up bit. They haven't cured athlete's foot. <laughs> so
So to all the idiots out there who want to get on their moral high horse and say, you should get the jab, just wear the mask. Yeah, here we are. What's finally been said is, oh, well, you felt good. You felt moral. But guess what? This virus is here to stay. And while many Americans have sought a return to normal life, the Charlie 19 continues to cause economic and social disruptions. Dr. Ja is acknowledging the consensus among medical and public health experts that Charlie 19 is with us for our lifetimes and beyond. Dr. Leanna Wynn, a public health expert closely aligned with the White House on the pandemic told Yahoo News. Quote, unquote, but this is not the Charlie 19 of 2020, Wynn said, pointing to the widespread availability of vaccines and treatments. Quote, unquote, we now have many tools that allow us to live with this Charlie 19. President Houseplant is fully vaccinated and has received two booster shots. On Friday, he and White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre both said his symptoms remained mild after the president tested positive for Charlie 19 on Thursday. Now, we all have been saying this in this space. Those of us who covered this pandemic, this scandemic, that yes, viruses evolve. Whatever quote unquote vaccine you have that's effective one month, guess what? Six months down the line, it could be rendered ineffective. But oh no, we were told we were crazy. We had our videos, you know, heavily, heavily censored. But here we are at the end saying, we told you so. The president's infection returned to the pandemic, or excuse me, it returned the pandemic to the headlines after several months during which the war in Ukraine, inflation, and gun control dominated news coverage. I find it very interesting what they just said. Why? Because gun control just like the pandemic, has been used to do what? Scare people into compliance. Now, you had those harping hands on the view say that the guy that stopped the mass shooting broke the law by having his gun on him inside the mall. Once again, control through fear. Some public health experts saw houseplants infection as a further sign of how complacent, i.e. people are finally starting to say, we don't care about this virus anymore. Citizens have become, like many Americans, Houseplant had ceased to wear a face diaper and had resumed travel, including abroad. Well, that's all I'm going to read about this article. However, let me reiterate, control through fear. Nothing more, nothing less. And yeah, who did you see 
during these last couple of years be most afraid? If the answer you say is women, you would be correct. Why? Well, there are more women than men. And of course, you have to get them afraid first. Then that way, the men who are in relationships will actually get on board with them. Yeah. This whole pandemic has caused so much destruction, especially among family lines. You literally had couples who divorced because one person was vaxxed and the other person was not vaxxed. You had family court judges tell fathers if they don't get vaxxed, guess what? You can't see your kids. Yeah. Yeah. However, the general public has finally said, you know what? Screw this thing. We're getting back to normal. However, this article proves they need to get people back afraid of the Charlie 19. Hey, I never got it. I never got jabbed. Hey, it is what it is. A lot of people said, screw getting jabbed. And guess what? Who's laughing in the end? Us, the pure bloods. Oh, and by the way, there have been some uh, interesting finds on menstrual cycles of women who got jabbed. Just saying. <laughs> oh, well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the full article. Let me know what you guys think. And society. The power will eventually go out. Feminism, Charlie 19, gun control, everything that's used to try to keep people afraid will go out right along with it. Why? because more and more people are waking up and they're taking control of their lives. And that, people, is what the system fears the most. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.